Hey, what's up YouTube? Kyle here with JK Coins. Uh, Jess and I were hoping to do a detecting video today, and we went out detecting um, to a new spot. It was incredibly muddy, and we weren't there very long, so we're going to go out Sunday to a different spot. Uh, we were there for just a little bit, but I was able to find my very first thimble. It's not silver, I believe it's just aluminum. But considering we were there for about... Uh, 20 minutes and the mud was super thick. I'm kind of surprised I found anything. So that turned out to be pretty... I thought it was just trash at first. So that turned out to be pretty cool. But since we don't have a detecting video, I thought I'd kind of go over a mail call and just show you what's uh, new with my paper currency recently. Uh, the silver certificate I found recently, 1935E. It's not a great shape, really nothing special. Sorry for the glare. But I found it at a bank, which is pretty cool. So keep your eyes open. Uh, you never know what you'll find. And then some new things that I've gotten recently. I got really into the um, Columbian Exposition. It's the World's Fair in 1892 and or 1893 in Chicago, and uh, it was celebrating the 400th anniversary of Columbus coming to America. And so they had these. Uh, it's kind of like currency in a way, or they're set up to look like currency. So they have different tickets. So this one's got Benjamin Franklin on it. Considering they're, you know, 100 plus years old, they're pretty cool. Um, I've recently gotten into collecting those. The only one I'm missing, there's one with a handle, who's I think like a poet or something. So there's one more of these that I need. And then just a couple other tickets from that same day. I just find them fascinating. And being from the Chicagoland area, I find them pretty cool. So that's a... Some stuff I've gotten into recently. Um, an update on my gold cert collection. So I've got the 1928 uh, small 20, the 1922s 10 and 20, and then my favorite 1905 Technicolor. So right now I'm missing the 1906, 1907, 10 and 20, and then the 1928 10. I'm, I got my eyes out. I know I've got people looking for me. So they're out there just finding the right value for what I want to spend. You know, I've been kind of uh, spending a lot on this stuff recently, so i got to tone it down a little bit. But um, a quick update on my silver certs. So I recently picked up the $1, um, 19, what is this, 1923 series. Pretty good shape. Matches my 1899 series 1, 2, and 5. So next up, you start getting into the 10s, which get very pricey very quick. But that's kind of on my... On my list, uh, and then my red seals, I got the 1923-1. Terrible, uh, terrible shape for the most part. You can see it's been cut and everything like that, but it was pretty cheap on eBay, and so I just thought I'd add it to the collection until I upgraded it. The one, I just picked this up today, the $2 1917 series, and it's in great shape. Um, couldn't turn it down actually picked this up at our local coin shop shout out to them Keene County Coins and Currency in Elburn Illinois so if you guys are in need of anything give them a call great people but that's where I picked up the two from that's also where I got the 1928 20 gold but and then I've got I was hoping to have the wood I just bought the wood chopper off eBay I've got that coming in to kind of complete the 125 in the 1917 series and then up until I get into the 10 um which like I said gets pretty pricey but I was hoping to have that today I think that's going to show up tomorrow also I added to my uh national note collection so Freeport and St. Charles um Illinois some towns that mean Kind of special to me. I've got my eye out for a couple other towns, but those were available. And um, the Freeport 10, the most recent one, the 20, and the St. Charles are a little bit older. But you know, I thought I'd take you on tour. I'm just wondering if you guys want to put in the comments below what you are collecting, any paper that you're into, or tickets, or anything different. So I just, you know, some people don't even know this stuff exists. So it's just pretty cool to get it out there and um kind of show you where it's so hard when you start getting into paper currency to figure out what direction you want to head and that was my hardest part you can see I'm kind of in a million directions but kind of nationals finish out some gold certs 
and then um, you know as things get super pricey so it's gonna start slowing down here soon but um, looking for nationals is always kind of fun and then always looking for the bank finds that's what all a lot of these were as well I think I've talked about them kind of at nauseum here but some um, old bank finds so same with the 50 some old bank finds so you never know what you'll find but just a quick update and we're hoping to go detecting on Sunday like I said so hopefully Monday we'll have a detecting video for you guys but uh, it's, I'm starting to ramble so I'll cut it off and I uh, would love to hear what you guys are collecting in the comments and until next time see you later